Hello everyone, today I'm here to share with you my December book haul or my last book haul of 2018 even though you're probably seeing this in 2019. <sighs> Pre-filming. <laughs> but either way, I have a whole bunch of books to share with you guys. I purchased some books, I was actually gifted some books from my lovely friends, and I have some books from publishers. As always, I will link all of them down below. So like and I said, I did purchase a few. The first one being Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. This is the third and final book in the, um, the Dark Artifices series. I have not read this. <laughs> yet. Um, I was thinking about reading December and then I was like this is just huge so I'm thinking about saving this to be my first read of 2019. I do enjoy it but I've noticed as time has gone on I am not in love with it as much as I used to be but either way I own it and I have it and I will eventually read it. Next up I have Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book in the Renegades trilogy I believe. I do already have a video review on this book so if you want to watch it click right up here. I did have an arc of it luckily and I read the arc but I had to own a hard copy because I do enjoy this series. I will say I like the first one much more than the second one. And in case you're wondering what this one is about, it's about like imagine a Marvel world in books. That's all I would say. You have these heroes and you have these enemies and basically an enemy goes undercover as a hero and you can guess where the plot's gonna go from there. Then I have This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. I'm trying to read all of Emma Mills books. I just finished the second one. This one is one of her earlier ones. I think I don't remember. Um, this is all about this girl named Sloan who is not expecting to fall in love with a group of friends when she moves from New York to Florida. Um, and I think that's basically what it's about. I've noticed with Emma Mills, it's just a cute Y contemporary where it's a lot of gropes, a lot of character development, and a lot of side characters, which I love. So I love having these just to kind of save on my shelf. I have like a whole contemporary, like save for a rainy day type of book. And this is one of them. And I, like I said, I want to read all of her books. The last book I bought is an adult book and it's called Now That You Mentioned It by Kristen Higgins. I read one of her previous books books this year. I want to say it was called Good Luck With That and I really enjoyed it. I have seen reviews on this one saying it's really sad so I don't know why I did that because I just love torturing myself apparently. <laughs> this is about this woman named um, Nora who is doing really good. She's on her way to become a Boston medical specialist and then she's hit by a car and um she has to go home and then her home is just a place that's just kind of really bad for her so I think what's I think that's what that's about. I don't know when I'll read this. I want to read this because I enjoy her writing a lot and I liked it when I read her first book. But either way, I bought it and here it is. <laughs> Those are all the books that I bought. Now, I was so lucky and fortunate enough that a lot of my friends sent me books for Christmas, which I was not expecting at all. So I'm just so over the moon for all of these friendships that I have on the booktube community. I never thought I would have them because I feel like I'm the old lady of the bunch. <laughs> but either way, these are these are gifts from my amazing friends and I love them all so so much. The first one is from a good friend Amy over at Amy Reads. I'll link all of their channels down below in case you want to check them out which I highly recommend you do so. Amy is amazing and she sent me a copy of After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is the only Taylor Jenkins Reid book I do not own. I have already read this one. I listened to it via audio and I loved it so much. It's basically about a married couple that decides to take a year off from being married and see who they are. We, feel, we really follow the woman and I just really enjoyed it a ton. So I am so happy to have owned this. I've been wanting to buy it for a while, but I'm like, I've already read it, but now I have an, all of Taylor Dickens Reads books. I'm so excited. Other than already went. And she also so kindly sent me One Day by David Nichols. One Day I immediately wanted to read because I heard it was compared to One Day in December, which I really enjoyed this past month. And Amy has says that this is really reminiscent of that, but it's also hella sad. So, uh, girl, get me in the feels. <laughs> Basically about two people that meet um, Dexter and Emma. They have only just met and then they have one day together. And then I think every Every year it only focuses on that one day. So one day every year like they meet up or it just follows their life one day in a year which I've heard is amazing. It has had a film adaptation. I want to say yeah, Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis. Haven't seen the movie. Want to read the book first. My heart probably won't be able to handle it but either way. Thank you so much to Amy. So, so kind. I love you so much. And another one of my friends, Amy, over at Court of Crowns and Quills on Instagram sent me Summer of Salt by Katrina Leno. I am so excited for this book. Look at the cover. I also know it's one of Chelsea's favorite books, so I have to read it soon. This is a very, very short book. I don't know much about it. I think it's like a contemporary book with, like, with a little bit of magical realism and a female-female romance. So I'm here for that. I don't want to say too much because like I said, this is like not even 
yeah, it's only like 250 pages, so it's insanely short. Thank you so much, Amy. If you haven't checked out her Instagram, please do. She takes amazing photos. Like, my photos are just crap compared to hers. They're just kind of not that great in general, my photos. <laughs> my friends Trina sent me The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Trina is an amazing booktuber and fellow mom got to represent because us moms out there, not a ton out there in book two, but this is a short story, I want to say, or a collection of short stories. I don't know. Four very different lives are about to become entangled. And I know it takes place in Alaska and I am kind of obsessed with books set in Alaska. I read two this year that were all about Alaska and I'm just enamored by Alaska. I don't think I get ever lived there, but I love reading it. So I'm so excited to read this. I think this will be the perfect book to read in January because it's just kind of cold, Alaskan, all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much to amazing friend Trina. I'm almost done with the gift giving part. My friend Chelsea over at Chelsea Darling Reads, who I love and adore, sent me The Diviners by Libba Bray. I have been meaning to read this series for forever. It's definitely an underrated series but I hear a lot about it if that makes any sense like I've heard like I don't hear too too much but what from what I've heard it's been amazing so this is a book series set in like the 1920s and it's in New York and I think it's like kind of paranormal-esque I want to say I haven't read it because of the sheer size like this first book is like almost 500 pages so that's quite lengthy and I don't do the best with historical books but I've gotten a lot better this past year so I hope to continue with that trend on getting better so either way thank you so much to Chelsea hopefully she has started an obsession and I will love this book and want to read all of them I've also heard the audiobooks for these are amazing as well so if you recommend listening to it over audio than physically reading it please let me know amazing friend Kristen over at Super Space Chick sent me The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay. Look how beautiful this is. So, I'm not gonna lie to you when I say I saw the movie finally. I'm really behind on movies. Like, two weekends ago, and I didn't like it really at all. Like, it was not the movie for me. I, I don't know. But either way, I still want to own a copy of this book because it's beautiful, and I want to put it on my shelf, and it's, you know, it's still within the Harry Potter world. I forgive you for not being a good movie, but either way, thank you, Kristen, for this. It's beautiful and I will forever cherish it like I will cherish you. Next up, I have a whole stack of books sent by publishers, so thank you so much. I have some amazing 2019 releases in here that I'm so excited about. The first one is already out, and that is the Eat Like a Gilmore Daily Cravings by Christy Carlson. So the author so kindly reached out to me and asked me if she wanted to send me her second Gilmore Girls book because I did purchased the first Gilmore Girls Cup last year because if you don't know me, my favorite show and one of my favorite things of all time is Gilmore Girls. So of course I said yes. So in case you are a Gilmore Girls lover and want to know more recipes, like I love these books because she also puts them like there's little stickers on each one. They're not real stickers, but it says like Yale days. It tells you where they're cooked at. Um, town favorite. Um, I think we have Emily's staff so you know it's at Emily Richards house we have a Luke's diner there's one for Suki's kitchen I mean there's just a whole myriad of amazing recipes that could be found in the Gilmore Girls world which I love and adore so thank you so much I will forever cherish this because Lord like Gilmore is my heart the amazing William Morrow sent me 99% mine by Sally Thorne. If you don't know, she wrote The Hating Game, which everyone was freaking out over the last couple years, which I included as well. It's an adult chiclet romance, kind of a hate to love trope, which I adore so, so much. This is her long awaited, not sequel, but like just next novel, I guess you could say. It's all about this girl named Darcy who has forever been crushing on her twin brother's best friend, but as always, he's off limits because it's her brother's best friend. And then I think one day they're not off limits and you can guess what happens. I cannot wait to read this book. I love a good chiclet rom-tom type of book any freaking day of the week. I'm so excited to have this. Next up from Wednesday Books, I have You'd Be Mine by Erin Hahn. I've heard a lot about this book on research releases and I didn't put it in my most anticipated because I just wasn't sure about it. But the more I hear about it, the more like I love it. Like a pitch perfect romance for fans of Casey West and Katie McGarry. Sounds perfect. And I think this is all about like this country star. Yes. It's about a girl named Annie who has been offered an opportunity with a lifetime. Them like being country singers or country stars or something like that. It's like Annie and Clay. I've heard it's also said like um your next June and Johnny Cash which 
Oh, yes, I cannot wait for this. I love a good YA contemporary book. This one does not come out all the way until April, but either way, I cannot believe I have this. Speaking of most anticipated reads for 2018, I have Our Year of Maybe by Rachel Lynn Solomon. She also wrote You'll Miss Me When I'm Gone, which I read this year and love. Definitely a hidden gem. No one ever talks about it but me, apparently. I'm okay with that. But this is her long-awaited, like, next book and it's gonna be a sad one. It's about Sophie and Sophie has been in love with her best friend, her best friend Peter and Peter has been on the transplant or has been on the liver I want to say or kidney transplant list for a long time and then Annie learns that she is a match for him so she decides to give him her kidney and hopefully in the midst of that she will know like he'll notice that he loves her just as much as she loves him and that does happen but after the transplant things change he starts falling for another musician in his band and she starts to grow a little bit more than she ever thought she would. I just know it's going to be a sad but beautiful book. It's going to tear me up, but I'm going to love it. Is that right? Next up, I have the movie edition of Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I did own a copy of this, but I don't own it anymore. I have yet to see the Netflix movie. I know I'm horrible. I am so behind on all movie and TV shows. I think I'm just going to have to like either have a binge day or just kind of just let stuff go. <laughs> like I do really want to watch Dumplin' and I plan to. I just don't know when. Like it needs to happen. Like I don't just I don't know. I, but either way I'm so excited to have this. And next up I have Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. I got sent this for the movie release and I honestly did not know this was a book at all so I'm a bad booktuber. <laughs> but I I'm not gonna lie when I saw the preview for it I was like mm, I don't know but I've heard really good things about it so I don't know if I'll be able to read the book, honestly, but I want to check out the movie maybe when it comes out on Redbox because your girl never has time to go to any movies. <laughs> but either way, excited to have this. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you thought of it. And lastly, for new releases, I have two that are coming out this year. The first one is Enchante, Enchante, I don't know, by Gita Chirilise. This is basically about Paris set in the I want to say 1800s I'm not sure like when the revolution happened and basically there's like magic that happened within the system I don't know much about it sadly oh here monogram Camille who has to find a way to provide for her younger sister and basically she has to use forbidden magic transforms herself into a baroness and swept up into the, the palace of Versailles where you can guess what happens from there. I've heard mixed things about this book. I'm interested in it, but the sheer fact of how long it is, it's like 450 pages and the mixed reviews, I'm not like 100% sold on it. So if you've read it, again, let me know. The last book I have for review copies is Fumbled by Alexa Martin, which got sent to me by Berkeley. This one comes out in April. And I believe this is kind of a sequel or spinoff to her other book, which I cannot remember the name of, Intercepted, I want to say. I don't know if I have to read that one first. This is basically about single mother Poppy who moved across country when she was 16 and she has finally built a life that she loves and then she meets a guy named TK Moore who is a wide receiver for the Denver Mustangs and I think what happens is they get together or something like that. So it's got like romance mixed in with football in case that's your jam, go for it. So let me know if you've read this, like I don't know if I need to read Intercepted first. I'm interested in it because I do kind of like sports romance. So yeah, excited for it. The last stack I have for you is my book boxes. So for both Alcree and Uppercase, I got sent Amber and Dusk by Lyra Selene. So in case you're wondering, since I have duplicate copies, I am running a giveaway on my Instagram right now for this book. Not this cover, but the original cover. This is the Alcree exclusive cover. This is a Y fantasy book, basically about a girl that's named Sylvie and she has to um, join this court or something like that. It sounds somewhat interesting. I've just been having such bad luck with YA fantasy lately that I'm just kind of like, uh, after every YA fantasy I read, I'm just like, it was okay. So I don't know if you've read it. Again, let me know as I continually keep saying. I have my three book of the month picks. So the first one I've already read and that's One Day in December by Josie Silver. I read this for the Tis the Season-a-thon and I loved it so freaking much. It is like a rom-com type of a book. It's basically about a girl who is on her way home from work one night on a London bus and then they get to a bus stop and she meets eyes with this guy outside and they're like, oh, love at first sight. And and the bus goes away before she can talk to him and she spends a year looking for this bus man and then all of a sudden her best friend's like hey let me introduce you to my new boyfriend aka the bus man so this book takes place over 10 years it follows um these two characters throughout their lives and it's just basically a book about ill-fated love i would compare it to when harry met sally kind of in the same vein which 
It's one of my top five favorite movies of all time. I'm obsessed with Ben Harry Met Sally. I'm basically obsessed with anything Nora Ephron has made. <laughs> but either way, I loved it so, so much. I have An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. This is an adult mystery thriller. And I believe this comes out in January, so I'm surprised that I have it already. Um, this is one I plan to read in January. It's basically about a girl, I think, that goes to therapy and then her therapist kind of like does all these mind tricks on her or something of that vein. I don't know much about it because mystery thrillers, I have to go into them kind of blind, so yeah. <laughs> the last book I have for you, the one that wins for the beautiful cover, that is The Far Field by I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this because I butcher this because I know I will. So it's by this author right here. Again, beautiful freaking cover. Look on the back. So stunning. This one I don't know much about. It's about a woman's search for her lost figure from childhood, a journey that carries her from southern India to Kashmir into the brink of devastating political and, po and personal reckoning. So it sounds like an adult literary fiction book that's just going to be packed with a lot of amazing punches. There you have it. Those are all the books I acquired in December. A lot. I'm sorry I went through this so, so quickly. I have two other videos to film today. So yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> So either way, 2018 was a great year for getting all of these books. Now to find home for all these books on my shelves, it's going to be a whole different story. That'll be fun. Um, but either way, if you have read any of these books, please let me know your thoughts and opinions. I highly appreciate it because you guys help me with what I should read and what I should not. So please leave a comment with that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.